Izzy knows a great deal about the history of basketball, and we were talking about Jalen Brunson here and his glow-up in going into New York, and I just don't think that we've had many basketball players ever who have been able to change without winning a championship the way they are viewed more than Jimmy Butler. During the last postseason, he was photographed in Paris with Shakira, and it was surmised or whispered, it was never confirmed, that they may have been seeing each other. And then uh, last week, and this is the continuation of what appears to be a public uh, flirtation, uh, Camila Cabello is on the sidelines there, and uh, Jimmy is fooling around behind her, uh, just taking pictures while his team is in the in the timeout huddle. He's just fooling around <laughs> outside of it. And I just I wanted to ask the group because I think I may be alone in in here, having watched Jimmy all season, knowing how hard those free throws are to come by, seeing where his legs. Uh, sometimes betrayed him even during last year's finals. I'm not sitting here expecting more of these 40-point games from Jimmy. I'm not – look, I don't believe that playoff Jimmy's going to make an appearance with a bunch of 15-for-21s. And Stugat says he's done doubting Jimmy <laughs> in any form, but I just don't think you can keep putting that kind of mileage on the body and legs. Maybe, maybe – I had no idea where that question was going, Dan. You started <laughs> off with telling everybody that I know NBA history, and then we go through Shakira, Cam Camila? Camila. Camila. Camila Cabello. Camila. Yep. Mm. And now we're asking if Jimmy can be playoff. Jimmy, is that, that the question? I, I am asking if I'm the only one here who doesn't expect it this year. I'm not expecting them. No. You're with me on this, I'm Jessica? with you on this, Dan. Yes. I'm with you in this respect. He only needs one of those a series. Correct. He needs one game a series to show everybody, hey, I can still do this if necessary. Fortunately, I've got a bunch of talented <laughs> teammates as well. Don't need to do it every time. The thing with Jimmy and, and when it comes to free throws is if he averages between 12 and 14 free throws a game, which he's very capable of doing, that helps his team so much and slows, da slows down the other team, slows down the game. Like, I don't know if we can expect that against Philadelphia, for example, because they're a matchup nightmare for him to get into the paint and be able to produce that but way this he struggled is, against them but recently. This is, this is, if you're going to summon this thing that he can summon allegedly whenever he wants to, it's needed right now. Yeah. You need to get the two. You need to be playing the two seed, not the one seed. Like if right now the playoffs begin obviously by schedule, but if Jimmy Butler's going to do the fifteen free throw thing, now is the time that it needs to be done. You do not want the Boston Celtics first. Yeah, that's exactly right, and I, I would expect him to do that. Does it mean forty five points like he had against Milwaukee or in those Lakers games several years ago? No, not necessarily. It, oftentimes, the best version of Jimmy Butler and the best version of this year's team in particular is him shooting twelve to fourteen free throws, getting to about twenty eight points officially, and also adding six or seven dimes because that's where when you're getting the rest of this team involved with them it's been all about ball movement last year driving into the lane and kicking out to Max and Gabe for threes was a huge part of their offense this year it's all been ball movement when that team looks good offensively if you doubt Jimmy enough Dan if you if you doubt him enough times eventually you're going to be right but I think he thrives on going to Philadelphia going to a place that got rid of Jimmy Butler uh, for Tobias Harris. Like, I think he thrives on playing that game in Philadelphia and having a big game in Philadelphia. My, my, my point is that this is the situation for it to make an appearance, and I don't expect them. I, well, expect, them, is, I expect them to go to Philadelphia and lose. This is where I agree with you is now <clears throat> this is the time because of the play and because you're saying, hey, Boston in the first round, yeah. is a you're asking to be knocked out. So this – needs to be treated like a Game 7. If you were going into a Game 7 with Jimmy Butler, you're expecting now is the time, especially when you got Philly, Tobias Harris over me, yeah. the Ben Simmons situation. Like He's got all the motivation sure. to dominate this one game and say, okay, Embiid, you go deal with the Celtics. I don't expect it, however. In an effort to be the voice of the audience, I am so exhausted by the playoff Jimmy conversation. Uh, like This year, the Heat have just felt like very – 
especially vibeless, I think. But and they're I'm the same as last year. They're the same, same as last year. They're, they're better the same, than last they're year. They're the same team. They're, they're they're more hurt. They've been more hurt this year. They're better than last year. Um, are they? They had the same yes. record. They had, they, the they the players won. on the team are better than the players on the team last year. That's right. Jovic, Jokic, Jovic, 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 uh, Terry Rozier, two upgrades right there. I just, I don't know. I'm exhausted by it. Right. But it hasn't her, even started. I feel like yet. we've done the same. Like we just did Wait, the yeah. same seasons back to back year. Like we're sp- we're doing it, it all over same, again, right? And, again and again and again. And you're choosing and not to, but and you're choosing not to but, trust but, someone but who has done it two times this, in three like, years. I understand what you're doing there, but I will say, and I continue to say, how spoiled this market is. This unacceptable season for the Heat is the best Knicks season in ten years. The That's Knicks right. are presently celebrating. Don't make it about the Knicks. No, but the Knicks are super excited and loud. New York is awfully loud about being the two seeds, two guys, because they think they've done something by winning 50 games, and they'll tell you at every turn that if they hadn't been injured, they would have won a lot more games. That team is the two seed in the conference and is feeling itself when it's just put up a season that has frustrated Heat fans. The same season. (laughs) The difference between the Knicks and the Heat this year is that the Heat lost to Memphis at home, Washington at home, and twice to Brooklyn. That's the difference between the two teams. And it's not because the Heat are less good than those teams. It's because the Heat have not put any sort of importance on the regular season if you're looking how many of their guys are sitting out all the time. But it's obviously about expectations. The Heat have different kind of expectations. They expect when you have teams with LeBron and Wade and those types of teams – that win NBA championships at Wade and Shaq, they expect to win championships or compete for championships. The Knicks are just happy to be there. All right, but if that's the expectation, then here's what I've got for you. Sixers are historic chokers, and Bede has never won an important game. You've got one against them right now. You want Philadelphia out of your life? Make them play Boston. You want Philadelphia out of here? Beat them now. Beat all the Tobias Harris stuff. All you you chose Tobias Harris over me. Here you go. I just think the Jimmy I've seen this year doesn't have those legs. Jimmy I've seen this year looks like Jimmy against Denver in the post in the finals, where he he just didn't have what it is that I wanted from him. Now maybe because it's so hard, Stugatz, physically on the body. If I were him, I would also say. I'm not doing the 15 free throws a game until I get to the playoffs. I've got no reason to do it. LeBron said the quiet part out loud the other day, Stugatz. He said, I'm not jeopardizing my health for seeding. Do not care where the seeding is. I have to be healthy for game one of the playoffs. That's the thing that's more important. So if Jimmy's out there trying to get 20 free throws, that's how he gets to the 40 points. This is a bad time for Jimmy to rely on that because right. we saw this second half of the regular season, referees swallowed whistles. They're not Those same playoff fouls he was getting last season were often not being called right now in the regular season. So if you imagine it's going to get tougher to get those calls in the playoffs, good luck, Jimmy. And it was so interesting because last game against the 76ers, one that the Heat needed, Jimmy really didn't play all that well. He, I think, was 7 of 17 from the field in that game, inefficient. And the biggest thing that you noticed was Kyle Lowry oftentimes was guarding him. He had the mismatch and yet wasn't going into the paint, wasn't trying to go into the paint, wasn't trying to back down Kyle Lowry. You. I don't understand why he didn't take advantage in that regular season game. But to your point, Dan, if you're not trying to go that through that physical toll in a regular season game, I don't care about seeding, blah, blah, blah. I'll be ready for the playoffs. You would expect that switch to flip come Wednesday. The thing is, it's almost you don't know if you can't flip the switch until you can't flip the switch. Right? You get to a point where it's like, oh, it's Kyle Lowry. Yeah, like he stopped me on the block four times. I couldn't get anything on Kyle Lowry. But it's the chess move of, wait, I'll do it in the playoffs. Well, now you're here. Now you're going to see Kyle Lowry in the block again when he stopped you four different times on four different plays. Like, now it, now it's here, Jimmy. I remember uh, the first part of the 2010s with the San Antonio Spurs, what they looked like. Whenever they won, they were experienced. And whenever they lost, they were old. <laughs> that's that's how that one happened, and we've talked before about it's not whether Jimmy can do it once. For sure he can do it once. 
It's can you do it four times in seven games so that you get it to the next round so that we can get you watch get to watch it again. It's that as you age, what leaves you is your ability to consistently do it. Not to do it, because you can still do it. It's consistently do it. You lose the consistency. We already had that. We already we've already experienced those. And at the end of the series, if they lose it, we say, Oh, Bam needs to do more. Oh, they need Tyler to be healthy. It's not Jimmy needs to do it more often. And so for you to say it's four Four times in a series. That's way too much. Why is Jimmy the guy that we're questioning in the playoff equation? So weird. He's done it. He's taken two teams to the NBA Finals. The guys we should be looking at are guys like Tatum, Jalen Brown, Donovan Mitchell. Because I think Duncan Robinson is more important. That from what I've seen the, from them this year, than Jimmy Butler. Uh, then, in terms okay. of, I've seen all year Jimmy Butler put up ninety point games when he doesn't have uh, Duncan Robinson out there. The way that they've been playing with Duncan Robinson, I'm not saying that Duncan Robinson's a better player. What I am saying is the same thing that the LeBron James Norris Cole he'd said about Chris Boss. Chris Boss isn't better than LeBron James, but he's more important to what it is that they were doing. To be clear, Jimmy Butler did not have ninety points in the game multiple <laughs> times. No. I I, okay, I like good. this, though, as a premise for the show. Like, we just stop talking about Jimmy Butler and just put all the pressure on Duncan Robinson. Yes. He has to have a good yep. playoff. Jeremy, yeah. you have been watching a whole bunch of 90. He's not playing? What? 90 oh, point, my God. The we're Heat doomed. are screwed. Thanks for watching. 90-point <laughs> Miami Heat games yeah. uh, with Jimmy Butler and Bam out there. It's why they traded for Rozier. Right. They needed, they needed instant offense. Duncan Robinson is probably their third most important player throughout this season. Kevin Love, who just got hurt on, on Sunday, another hugely important player to providing offense and the way he gets the ball down the floor. Nice. But Terry Rozier, and for that matter, Tyler Hero, who we have not been talking about all season because he missed a handful of games, or handful, he missed 20 games. Yeah. He's been great since returning offensively. He's been their best player offensively, a factor that wasn't their last postseason. So when you talk about this team and you talk about what you need in a series, Tyler Hero is ultimately going to be a really, really important piece to what they do offensively. So I understand that, Jeremy, but the question that I have now is when you have all these mismatched pieces that haven't played together, you got Rozier, you've got Tyler, you've got Bam, you've got Jimmy, you've got Duncan if he comes back later on, how are they going to all play? work together there's oh. one there's one ball yep. right like it's it's jimmy centric yeah. culture world but like there's a you can only you can only hold down tyler here on shots so long you can only hold down terry rosier on shots for so long well that's what i was saying about ball movement with this team because realistically as many individual pieces that exist that are there that can go get theirs right they have four different guys who are 20 point a game scores that's not what it's been when this team is good when this team is good they've got six or seven different guys scoring in double figures they're moving the ball it's not just jimmy iso ball and we've seen late in games mm-hmm. throughout the regular season them struggle when it's gone to just iso ball. That's when they've gone through these stretches of six or seven minutes without scoring. The hope is that Jimmy's able to elevate his game, get to his spots, hit some big shots late. But that hasn't been what's been good about this team this season. They are a different team from last year. Mm-hmm. It's just that we're looking at the overall Jimmy era and saying, all right, they're just about the same every year. Oh, God, I'm a Jess. Pieces. This is while, exhausting. No, while this they, is guys, exhausting. Guys, <laughs> while they haven't played together that many times, and it is going to be kind of a difficult job for Spo to figure this out and make all these pieces work work together this is when you really lean into that culture oh don't do that 